Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a cash stuffing and today I will be stuffing my YouTube paycheck. I just want to say thank you so so much to everyone who is supporting my channel. I really do appreciate you and I would not have this extra income without you. So thank you so so much. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I'm super super close to 11,000 subscribers, which is literally crazy so thank you guys so much if you are subscribed i appreciate it let's get started with my bills binder so for my bills i will be stuffing utilities which is going to get 50 dollars. so right now in here i have my completed payment for june 5th so this extra 50 dollars is just to get me started on the next payment so um, I'm just going to combine that here. So utilities has 50, 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 6, 7. So 167 in utilities. Next is renter's ins insurance, which is getting 5. So now it has 5, 10, 15 dollars. And this is quarterly, so the next time I will pay this will be in August. Next is student loans. So this is getting $5. I currently do not have to pay my student loans because I'm still in college, but I figured $5 here and there wouldn't be bad. So student loans now has $25. Okay, um, next up is fees, which I did not budget for this, but I do have $30 from rent. This was from my last rent payment and so um, if you don't know, my rent is $1,180, and they've only been charging us $1,150, so that extra $30 is actually for my cat, but every month they don't charge us that, so I've just been taking that $30 and putting it into month ahead. Someone suggested putting it into my fees envelope because this envelope is for paying any fees when we have to move out. I'm sure they're going to find something that, you know, in our apartment that we have to pay for. I already obviously know I'm going to probably have to pay for a carpet replacement. Milo has scratched it up. Um, we've been doing our best to try to fix that. But, you know, when we move out, we don't want like a huge surprise for this expense. So we're just kind of slowly saving up towards it. We're not planning on moving out anytime soon, but when the time comes, we'll have the money for it. So I'm going to put this $30 into here. So now fees has 20, 40, 45, $50. And that is gonna be it for my bills binder. Next up is my taupe binder, which has all the envelopes that we use pretty often. So in here, I'm going to go to my envelope called Sweet Treats. And this envelope is lost. I literally cannot find it. Okay, here we go. So Sweet Treats is an envelope I thought of because um, the weather has been getting nicer and we were like, one time we were like, let's go get ice cream from Cold Stone, but Cold Stone can kind of get expensive and we didn't have any money for it in our spending envelope. And we kind of always like to go out and get like a sweet treat. So especially when it's like warmer out. So I wanted my own envelope for that. So this will be getting $5 and that's all that it has. Also, uh, during my clinical, one of my students um, brought up this ice cream place here in town and I had never heard of it or been there before. And they have really good ice cream, like by the pictures, it looks really good. So I want to try that. So. Um, money from here will be used to go there. So um, I love this envelope. Next is going to be my June 7th paycheck envelope. So I've talked about this every time I stuff it. So June 7th is when I will be getting paid next. And on that paycheck, I will have literally zero dollars because the two weeks that will be on this paycheck were the two weeks that I was gone in Japan. So I have budgeted money as much as I can from our other paychecks. Actually, this has only come from my paychecks. I have not taken any of Logan's money and stuffed this because this is for my June 7th paycheck. His June 7th paycheck, we get paid bi-weekly on the same Fridays. His paycheck will be, you know, a regular amount, but mine will be zero and I do stuff groceries, I do stuff utilities and my life insurance 
and all these other things, rent. So I wanted to have money for that because I didn't budget to be ahead on those things. I budgeted to like have money for, um, you know, when the Friday comes, I just have the money right here and I can do my cash stuffing. So hopefully that makes sense. This will be getting $140. So $120.40. So I'm gonna add this here. The denominations, I didn't really, I'm not really thinking of the denominations. I'm just stuffing as much as I can that's left over from my paychecks and putting it into here. So when I cash stuff, I will try to use all of this, um, you know, denomination wise, but if not, I'm still going to the bank anyway to pull out Logan's check, so it's fine. But at least I have the money here. Um, so June 7th now has 1, 2, 3, 400, 500, 520, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I believe that's 600. Um, and I also have $152 in my wallet for groceries. So instead of taking $250 out of here, which is what I budget every two weeks for our grocery budget, um, I'm gonna keep that 152 and only take $98 from here instead of 250. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, but I will show in my cash stuffing, you know, taking this money out and like all that. So you guys kind of understand. I hope it makes sense. But basically, like, I just didn't want my June 7th paycheck to be nothing because I do have bills to pay. So I've just been putting any extra that I can in here. So that is going to be all for this binder. Oh my gosh, this binder is getting super thick too. My personal binder is like way overstuffed. I feel like I need to split it up, but yeah, I haven't done that yet. So this is my sinking funds binder. And the only envelope in here I'm going to stuff is travel. So travel is getting 15. So 10, 15. Um, Logan's aunt is getting married in November and they live in Kentucky, so I really want to be there for their wedding, but it's on a Friday, and I have class on Thursday, and I work on Friday, so I think I'm going to request the day off um, so we can go to their wedding and stay, like, Friday night, Saturday, maybe Sunday, I don't know, or come back Saturday. I'm not sure. It's a five-hour drive from where I am. So I've been saving some money for that. So travel now has 50, 70, 80, 90, 95. And that's gonna be it for my sinking funds. Next is my personal binder, which I stuff quite a bit because this was my YouTube paycheck. So in here, I will be stuffing 916, which is my birthday envelope. This is getting $5. So basically, um, like I have all these other personal categories, but this is for like all my birthday when I just wanna like go get something for myself. I'll, I'll pull it out of here. Um, I love Chipotle's chips and queso. I'm always craving it. So I might stop there on my birthday and just use this money. So now it has $10. I don't really have like a number in mind to stop at. It's just whatever I can because it's not a huge priority. Um, we're going to go to hair, which will get $5. And this is for um, shampoo and conditioner. I use the brand Redken and it's quite expensive. It's like $50 for both the shampoo and conditioner, but it's amazing i highly recommend like a higher end shampoo and conditioner um so this now has 10 15 16 17 18 dollars and i have a little um coupon in here that i got last time i got my haircut for 30 percent off um i'm gonna move it to my haircut envelope because this is strictly just now for shampoo and conditioner because i did originally have this envelope for shampoo and conditioner and also my haircuts but I get my hair cut at Ulta because I love how they do it. They're professional. I get like a free like wash too also, which I really like. So it's worth the $50 to me. Um, but that's a hundred bucks and 
I've been like struggling kind of keeping up with stuffing this, so I made another envelope. So my hair envelope is back here, my haircuts. I'm gonna put this in here just because this is a coupon for that and I meant to move it a while ago, I just forgot. Okay, so next we're going to stuff skincare, which is getting five and this is empty. So that's all that it has. Next is my envelope for Logan, which is getting five. I'm saving up for his birthday, which is in August. I have no clue what to get him. Absolutely no idea. So his envelope has 50, 70, 90, 95, 100, and five, 105. Next is shoes and shoes will be getting 20. So I've been meaning to buy a water protectant spray on Amazon for my shoes. So that's what this $20 is for. Haircuts is getting five and that's all that it has. Next up is graduation photos and this is getting $5 and there's nothing in there. So that's all that it has. I want professional pictures for my graduation, which isn't for like another year and a half, um, but I want to save up money for that because professional pictures can get quite expensive and I want to do that for myself just because I'm graduating university and it's like a big deal. So um, that's what this envelope is for. I made another one just called graduation for graduation fees and, you know, obviously stuff like that, but I'm thinking just to use my school envelope because that's what it's for, school. So I don't think I need a separate like graduation, um, just the graduation photos, but I'm gonna leave this in here for now. So that is all for my personal binder. Next binder is my business binder. So in here, all I'm stuffing is taxes, which is getting $188. And I love that I have this like um, insert for this envelope because my taxes was in like this matte vellum, but I have a lot going on. So I switched it to this plastic um, envelope and Nari was super nice to send me this and also a matte vellum one. So I really appreciate that. Um, so, I was thinking maybe put my placeholders in here and the cash in here once it gets to be a little too much. So this is getting 188, 50, 70, 85, 6, 7, 8. Okay, 100, 150, 70, 85, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so let's count this money. I'm gonna grab my calculator because there's just a lot going on. So in the bank, I have 1,000, 2,000, 2,500, 100, 200, 300, 50, 100. I have to do it this way now. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. So that's $3,000. So I can um, bring this to the bank and replace it for a $1,000 placeholder, which I will probably do in a condensing video. 5, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So in taxes, I have $3,022. And this is for my Etsy and YouTube combined. Oh my gosh, I hate doing that. So I'm going to put the placeholders in separate now just because there's so much and I don't want them to like break or anything. Okay, that is all for my business binder so lastly i have some saving challenges i want to do so the first one is my 52 envelope 
challenge from Lux Designs. I have this linked in the description box in case you're interested. And if you do purchase anything from her shop, you can use my code IAPLANS10 for 10% off and it'll also give me a small commission. So please consider using my code if you are thinking about purchasing anything from her shop. So for 52 envelope, I'm going to stuff $8. Okay, and while that's drying, let's go ahead and stuff that. So let's find the eighth envelope. Eight, five, six, seven, eight. And with this money, I think I'm going to put this toward our emergency fund since we haven't really been stuffing that. And this saves um, a, over $1,000, I think. I can't remember the exact amount, but yeah. Okay, so that is it for 52 envelope. And then lastly, I'm going to go into my saving challenge binder and stuff this $500 saving challenge. This is to pay myself back from a long time ago. So this is getting 20. So $500 saving challenge has 50, 70, 75, 80 dollars. And this is available on my Etsy shop. This is actually my old design. So I have a newer one available if you are interested. The time I upload this video though, I believe my shop is still on vacation. Um, so yeah, it'll be reopening June 9th. So that is all for this cash stuffing video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you guys in my next video.